please understand there is a deck list in the description. So if you don't feel like watching uh, this 20 minute video, just uh, check out the description, leave a like, and uh, I'll see you later. Light up the world with a little more troop. I got a couple more words. Hey, what is up guys? So now we got uh, another build of Ancient Gears and this is more of a pure build. Um, kind of focusing more around the actual big boss monsters that Ancient Gear has and the fusions as well. But, you know, as you can see from uh, just looking at the deck list, uh, even if you don't know what the cards are, you know, it's way more focused on the spells this time around rather than the monsters although the monsters do still put in just about the same amount of work um it's more like it's, it's you're still banking on the fusions and you know on the fact that you know your opponent can't activate anything when you attack that's kind of what you're that's kind of what ancient years bank on to uh make up for their loss speed um so start things off we have the new uh boss monster for ancient gear monsters uh, ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. So if this card should be summoned by tripping an Ancient Gear monster, if it attacks a, it, it basically just piercing. And if it's tributed by using a gadget monster, um, it could attack twice. So when he attacks at, at the end of the damage step, well, until the end, your opponent can activate spell trap cards. Um, and also your opponent's monsters uh, cannot activate their effects as well. So if he attacks a uh, Utopia uh, Lightning, Lightning would not be able to activate its effect, nor would he be able to use spell and trap cards for to protect him. So uh, it's it's pretty nice. Uh, it's just stun stunning monsters is a nice touch to the card, and uh, he also stops fluff effects and effects that uh, that trigger when a monster is destroyed by battle or when they're attacked. He just says no to all that. You can't activate that. Continuous effects those those still apply, but you know. All other types of effects can't activate when he attacks. And at the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, destroy a spell trap card on the field. So, you know, like, that last effect is kind of guaranteed. Like, it's, it's like if he attacks, it's guaranteed he's getting rid of something, of one spell trap card on the field. It's, it's, it's not even something like, um, not, uh, how would I say? Like, it's, it's something that, you know, like, pretty, like, once he attacks, like, you, you just know it's going to happen. Because he, like, the way that he works, the way that he is, he functions as a card, like, there's nothing stopping him from attacking. The only thing that would stop him from attacking is a monster with higher attack. Other than that, this guy is popping a spell trap card after he attacks. There's, like, nothing stopping that. And so, um, although... He can get Solemn Striked because the way he the way his wording is is that if this card attacks until the end of the damage step, uh, your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards, and also your opponent's monsters cannot attack. But at the end of the damage step, if, if this card is attacked, you can destroy a spell trap card on the field. So that means he can probably get striked. Um, so be careful about that. But most more often than not, you're probably going to pop the card. Uh, so it's, it's not that much of a big deal. And, you know, the way that this deck works, um, you'd probably want to pop some of your own spell and trap cards as well. We're going to go a little bit more into that later. But if you remember the old Ancient Gears, you know, Gear Town is something big on that, you know, getting pop, popping itself. So, you know, we have two Ancient Gear Golem. Uh, we use him rather, like, I like him better than the new one, simply because he, uh, he's the Ancient Gear Golem guy. Um, to be honest, they are just as easy to summon, except, uh, you see this, this new guy, what pisses me off about him is that he isn't treated as Ancient Gear Golem, so he's kind of just Ancient Gear Golem more for the aesthetic and the look rather than, uh, the actual application to the deck, so it's, it's a bit annoying. He should have been treated as Ancient Gear Golem for the fusion summon, um, but, uh, he, he still has a nice effect himself. Um, but yeah, just two Ancient Gear Golem. Uh, there's no real reason to play more than two. I mean, to play three. I mean, unless you want to really focus on like getting him as fast as possible. 
But even then, you know, you have Wyvern, you have your Sochers. There's no need to, to stress playing more, like, too many of the big guys. Uh, same thing for his um, friend here, um, Engineer Golem Ultimate Pound. I really, I really hope that is not his name. I really, really, I'm, I'm going to pray that Ultimate Pound is not his name. This is, <laughs> this is, this is crazy. All right, uh, so... When he attacks, he inflicts piercing just like the regular Ancient Gear Golem. Uh, and when he destroys a monster by battle, um, you can discard a machine type monster and he can attack again. Now, uh, when he is destroyed by battle or by card effect on the field, you can add a Palmerization and one Ancient Gear monster from. Uh, so you add a Palmerization from your deck to your hand and an Ancient Gear monster from your graveyard to your hand. So he can definitely do good in your uh, Ancient Gear Gadget deck profile. If you, if you guys haven't watched that, uh, I'll definitely uh, leave a link to that. But um, he can definitely do uh, pretty some pretty nice um, plays in your Ancient Gear um, Gadget build because uh, you actually play Ancient Gear Box in that build. So the fact you can search Palmerization and then add an Ancient Gear from your grave and then Box would trigger and then add another Ancient Gear would kind of like guarantee... Um, in Ancient Gear Fusion, it's it's kind of like a plus. This guy goes like plus two um, when he's popped. If you search an Ancient Gear box, he, he goes plus two because he's he, he gets you three cards. Well, he gets you two cards, and the box will get you the third card. So, yeah. But you know, it, as you can see, I don't really pay polymerization. Um, I can probably you can probably just put uh, push in one copy like uh, if if you find space for it, but. It's it's not something that I would play myself, uh, because in in, in reality uh, he he doesn't really get on the field that quick. Like he's usually something that you just uh, summon and then like you usually have in your hand and discard and then like use when the time is right or use for fusion summon. Like he isn't summoned that often, so him getting destroyed that often isn't really as likely either. So yeah. So one Gadgetron Dragon, you don't. You know, he's more just here still, because uh, 3,000 body, who can be summoned off of Gear Town. Uh, and Reactor Dragon, although has less attack, oh wait, no, it also has 3,000. I thought it had 29. Hmm, crazy. Uh, so, but he, he's level 9, but um, he can also be summoned off of Gear Town. But uh, Gadgetron Dragon is like your go-to if you don't have a Reactor Dragon uh, ready to go. Um, also, he's a trade-in target, so... He's searchable, trading target. It's it's not really a bad deal. Uh, Engineer Knight, he's he's just here, uh, just really just in case. Like you kind of need a few bodies in this deck because, as you can see, it's all high leveled. So, you know, you, there may be times where you don't have uh, monsters on the field. So you know, just you know, just having as many as possible kind of helps. Just but you know, just like in the uh, Engineer Gadget deck, you know, he's just here. Uh, triple Ancient Gear Wyvern, he's a searcher, and, uh, yeah, just make sure that you set all your important cards before summoning him, and if you're gonna use him to search, uh, Ancient Gear Spell or Trap, like Ancient Gear Reborn, just make sure that you do that, um, at, a, at the right time, uh, to make sure, uh, to really, um, uh, cut any chances of like getting killed because you, you didn't search the right engine gear at the right time. You know that no, that would, that would just suck. You know, uh, triple uh, hunting hound. If you don't know his effect already, um, when he's normal, he inflicts six hundred, and you can use him for a fusion summon. So you know if you like you he's pretty much a polymerization when it's on the field. So you can use uh, engine gear monsters from your hand and your field to fusion summon uh, engine gear fusion monsters. Uh, the most notable being uh, Howitzer, since he's the easiest, he requires any two ancient gears, and he special summons ancient gears from from your deck, ignoring their summoning conditions when he's destroyed. Uh, so, it would be real easy for uh, this deck to really um, get more monsters out. So you can probably go into this, uh, into your pounding ancient gear goal, <laughs> into your ultimate pound. I really cannot take this name seriously. I'm uh, I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm getting so distracted. But Ultimate Pound is so hard, like, it's, like, why? Okay, but, um, yeah, uh, he, he's just your gateway into your golem and your, just, just your golems. I'm, I'm not saying the name again. I am not saying that name again. Uh, Singular Maxi, um, 
format's still pretty fast, so Maxi is still something you should probably play. Uh, it's nowhere near necessary anymore. Because that one, it's kind of more like, if I get it. But certain decks still kind of need it, so we're still going to play it. Overload Fusion, uh, you can only go into your Chaos Giant, so after you get four Ancient Gears in Grave, uh, that's when you go into Chaos Giant, like you activate this and go into Chaos Giant. Um, it's a pretty nice touch. Um, there's really no condition to Overload Fusion, so I guess it's nice, except the fact that it banishes. But even then, uh, if you bring a Chaos Giant out, like, you're probably going to win. Like, this guy is such a big body. Like, unless he gets kaiju there is, like, little to stop him. Uh, next, we have a uh, Foolish Burial with Belongings. Uh, that's a... Um, it's just a way to mill your, uh, your Ancient Gear Spawn Shop cards as long, uh, with your Ancient Gear Fortress. And uh, we have double power bond as well. Uh, power bond uh, sends, it's pretty much just a parmization, except for machine types only. And it, uh, during the end phase of the turn that uh, you activate it, your, the, the monster, like you have to take damage equal to the attack of the monster. And um, the monster's, although the monster's attack is doubled, um, it, does kind of have its own setback, so it's 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 pretty. It's something that you uh, kind of don't want to use when you have low life points. Like it, like it's something that you want to push for game with with like uh, Chaos Giant or Gear Golem. Uh, How it's maybe like if you maybe if it's like first turn and you just want to have a two thousand body on the field, uh, that can be an option. But um, Power Bond is more something that you just that you kind of push for game for. Uh, with Chaos Giant or Gear Golem. So triple trading because you do run a good number of level eights, five of them, and they can be searched with your Wyvern. So it is not, um, it's just something that you, you should just play just to make sure that you uh, have some draw power in this deck because uh, in the, at the end of the day, like this deck kind of does need its draw power and its search power to really just speeding things up you know so next we have ancient gear catapult and uh that's something that uh I, i'm kind of mixed about the effect on this thing because it you you can only activate it when you control no monsters and uh you target a face-up card you control destroy it and you special summon an ancient gear from your deck ignore any summon conditions i really think the the fact that you have to control no monsters kind of kills this card uh, you know, the, but the thing is, is that the saving grace for this card is the Foolish Burial with, the, uh, with Belongings, or Foolish Burial Goods, I think it's called in TCG. Um, because when you, because you can banish it from the grave to turn it into grave, and target a face-up card you control, destroy it, and special summon an Ancient Gear token that's level 1. Now, the reason that's important is because you have cards like Ancient Gear Fortress and Gear Town that, um, when they're destroyed... You special summon ancient gear monsters, so having something like catapult where you can pop a card and then special summon an ancient gear monster and then special summon another ancient gear monster, or special summon an ancient gear monster and special summon an ancient gear token um, works pretty well. Um, ancient gear workshop um, works well because it uh, adds an ancient gear monster from a grave to your hand. Um, it can be searched with wyvern, and it's uh, just something that you should just kind of play one of if any. Um, I don't think two was necessary, although you do fusion a bit, so it's a uh, it's something more situational, but it's uh, just something you should probably just keep in just in case. Uh, Terraform is to search your gear towns, foolish to mill. Uh, the thing is that uh, when fortress is destroyed, it special summons an ancient gear, ignoring. Wait, well, no, this one doesn't ignore summon condition, but it only summons from the hand of grave. So. Um, in case you want to get one of your ancient gears to the grave quick or you know like for overload fusion or something or if you have workshop and although it is kind of a minus one combo you know foolish burial into workshop uh it's definitely something you can uh, you can still consider um but yeah you know you, you you are gonna have moments where you kind of want certain ancient gears in grave 
or you know just don't want to draw into them like you don't really want to draw into Gatchatron Dragon unless you have a trade in or you don't really want to draw into a Reactor Dragon like at all like you just want him on board but you don't want to draw into him um, except for when he fusion summon so Foolish is just something just to keep in just in case uh, Twin Twist series it's uh, more situational well not situational it's, it's not uh, it's no need for explanation for it because it's Twin Twister. It's just get rid of the back row. It's nothing too important. Um, Swords of Continuum Light. It uh, puts all your opponent's monsters face down. Uh, it's more for uh, your Chaos Giant. If you bring out Chaos Giant, then after activating Swords, you attack all their monsters and they're all in face down. And he inflicts piercing. And he's unaffected by spawn chalk artifacts, and your opponent can activate any monster effects. So it, it just all works out together. If you can pull off a Concealing Light and a Chaos Giant, then uh, you're going to be pretty lit. So Fortress is where things get a little crazy. Now, you can see I'm only running one uh, simply because I saw running two as a kind of a... It's kind of cloggy it too like it can be searched uh so what it does is um ancient gear monsters can't be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects during the turn they are summoned and your opponent can't activate cards or effects in response to the activation of an ancient gear card at all so they can't chain to your monster effects they can't they can't strike you they can't warning uh, well they'll be able to warning the power bond because they're not ancient gear cards you know, they should have an Ancient Gear exclusive fusion card because that, that would definitely work uh, for the deck. But, um, yeah, it's uh, they, they, they can't strike any of, any of your monsters. I, I think that's the biggest thing here because uh, Solemn Strike is still a thing. And uh, being able to get around a card like that is definitely a good, uh, good thing in my book. Uh, so, after that, if he's destroyed by uh, the... Um, well, if it's just destroying the spawn trap card zone in general, uh, you special summon that ancient gear from your hand or graveyard, but you can't special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except ancient gear monsters, which is exactly why he's not in the gadget build and catapult either, because this is this, <laughs> these two would not these two would be way too slow in the gadget build. Um, but yeah, he's he's not really worth playing at more than one in my opinion because. He doesn't really get anything done by itself. It's, it's more of something that just protects your other monsters, you know, like just in case something happens. But it's not something that really gets, that has any benefit of playing itself. You know, it's not like, uh, like, it's kind of like March of the Monarchs where you can play it, like you can search it, you can play it. But, you know, it's, it's not some your it's not a go-to card because it does nothing by itself. It's more of something that you just get like you want to see like maybe like uh midway in a duel like just to make sure your monarchs don't really like nothing happens to them that's how that, that's how i feel about fortress uh future fusion um it's back at one if you don't know the errata you can uh just read it right here uh it it's more of just to set up your chaos giant so you know if if he actually pulls off uh like if you actually pull off um a chaos giant with future fusion you're probably gonna win <laughs> it's 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 not even up for debate like unless they kaiju you um you're probably gonna win because after chaos giant hits the field even if future fusion leaves um he uh won't be destroyed because he's unaffected by spell and trap card effects and um he does get four inch and gears engraved so he does help you go through your deck pretty fast and uh that's, that is something that this deck needs, um, which is kind of why, but um, you don't really play that many monsters because you kind of just don't want to, in more spells, because you kind of want to go through your deck fast, but it's, it's it still can be a bit cloggy at times because, you know, these guys are real big and real clunky and they don't do much, so, by themselves anyway, because, you know, you'll, the, like half... Half the challenge is just summoning these guys, you know, because they're ancient gears. It's like, really? So, Gear Town as well. 
Um, so it turns out that old Gear Town combo didn't work anymore. We just activate Gear Town over Gear Town, and then all, of, and then you get a free Gadget Tron Dragon. Like those were the days, but you know this is this is 2017, so we can't have that anymore, sadly. Um, but you know if you do still have a catapult, if you draw into catapult and uh, Gear Town, or if you get like a uh, Foolish Burial Goods, you drop a catapult with a Gear Town, then you get to special summon. Uh, reactor or Gadgetron from your deck and you get a free token in case you want to fusion summon with it or you can get, like I don't know what you're gonna do with the token honestly but you know it's there just in case uh, so double D barrier it's meta not really you don't really need to explain it Ancient Gear Reborn it's just a call of the haunted but you have to control no monsters but it's uh, something you can just keep on using it's it's not like a uh, a one-time thing it's something that you can keep summoning from the grave which is why you play it um which is kind of why you play a uh, foolish burial as well because if you mill reactor dragon then summon activate reborn and bring back reactor dragon even if they keep on destroying it you just keep on bringing it back so i i guess that's the good part about it um even if you can't really get any of the uh tribute summon effects he still is a monster that can't be that your opponent can't activate spawn child cards when he attacks, and uh, your opponent can't activate um, monster effects either. And he still pops spawn child cards for free. And he would gain 200 too. You see, like all these benefits. Uh, double strike. Uh, you know, Psalms are always good. Uh, so, you know, just put strike in there. Uh, double chaos giant. So let me just go over his effect again. So he's a 45 hitter. Four Ancient Gear monsters must be fusion summoned. Unaffected by spawn trap card effects, your opponent cannot activate monster effects during the battle phase. So they're monster effects. They can't activate them during the battle phase at all. So he's like a meteor burst already. That's unaffected by monster effects. And this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. And it inflicts piercing. Like if, if there is... Like, if there is the, this card is the definition of an OTK, like, it, it, especially with Swords of Concealing Light, if they just have a full field, um, you could probably fit a Quaking in here as well. Like, <laughs> I'll probably suggest that too, because this deck will probably need some defense somewhere along the way, but I, I didn't really, I couldn't really find room for a Quaking, unfortunately. Um, but, you know. This, this guy is just the, the monster that you want to go into. Uh, so, Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. Uh, he's just someone that you... Uh, he Like, in case you don't have the means to go into Chaos Giant, you go into Golem. And, uh, unfortunately, your Ultimate Pound can't be used for it. Still sad boys out here. <laughs> But yeah, you just use Golem and any two Ancient Gear monsters. Bring this bad boy out. He pierces. Uh, obviously, your opponent can activate Spawn Traps when he attacks. And when he destroyed, he just brings back Ancient Gear Golem. So, you know, he does replace himself. Unlike Chaos Giant. But the probability is Chaos Giant isn't, leave, isn't is, is not leaving the field unless you get kaiju or Sacked. Alright. Uh, Howitzer. The main fusion of the deck. Uh, the one that uh, Hunting Hound is probably going to go into. So you know I'm some Hunting Hound. You probably go into uh, Howitzer directly after. Most likely in defense mode. His effect is he's unaffected by everything else. So you kind of can't touch him at all. Except for by battle. Which is kind what I kind of like about him. Uh, he can't be striked. Can't be bottomless. Can't be any of that. Because um, to stop his summon. They would have to stop the actual fusion spell. Like not Ancient Gear howitzer itself um so he's pretty strong in, in that uh manner and during the main phase you inflict a thousand so that's already 1600 if you normal summon your hunting hound so it's uh it's quite a bit of burn damage and you know it's once per turn uh during the main phase um so it's it's not bad so if he stays on the field for multiple turns you're, you're burning a lot of damage especially uh, no, you, you can only use one per turn. If, if you use two per turn, this, this card would just be amazing. But it's only once per turn, so. Still, 
Angel Gears can bring out big attack monsters pretty easily. So it's not it's definitely not a bad idea. There might even be like a burn build for this deck just just cuz howitzer is so good. <laughs> but um yeah, uh, and when he's destroyed by battle, you special summon an ancient gear monster from your deck. Pretty much any ancient gear monster you want cuz it ignores summoning conditions. And uh we definitely see that with Golem and uh, Ultimate Pound. So, um but you know, in case you don't want to bring out one of these two guys, um, then you just go into your Reactor Dragon or your Wyvern to, to get another Hunting Hound. Um, or if you, or if they attack into your Howitzer and you search, and you special them Wyvern during your opponent's turn, that's when it will be a good idea to get your Reborn, because you know it's not your turn, so you're not. So next turn you can actually set it. You know, instead of just searching it during your turn and just being like, oh man, like this is useless. It's like you're being sad boys out here. You can actually use it. Which is why I, I, I do think Howitzer is part of the reason why this deck is fairly like decent and like applicable to play in today's uh, standards. Uh, one Norton. Although the instant fusions are in the side deck, uh, I didn't really find space for them. You're only, you're only only using four level fours. It's nowhere near necessary. Um, but if you happen to bring out two exceeds and you just want to fusion summon it, um, uh, you can't really fusion fusion it. I, I don't really know why I put this in. Like this is something just I put in by instinct. Um, it's definitely not necessary. And uh, if you saw the Ancient Gear Gadget deck, the, the rest of the extra deck is the same, except for Gaga Samurai. Except in this deck, you can actually bring out number 38 easier because you bring out level 8s easier. So with uh, Gear Town and uh, Howitzer and Ultimate Pound and Golem. So yeah, you tell me a package. Gigant, he's not as. Uh, the Gigant and the Train Iron Wolf aren't as big of a deal in this deck because. You don't have box, so searching is just mediocre. And then your last three generic exceeds, 101, Castell, and Emerald. Um, you know, because rank fours probably not going to make them, but they're just there just in case. Um, you can actually cut out a lot of this extra deck uh, if you want to play cherries, uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. And just put a whole bunch of cherry targets, um, including Norton, in this deck. And that would definitely be a good idea. You know, like, kill your opponent before they kill you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, that's all for now. You know, obviously in the side deck, you would play the instance. Well, I don't think you need them anyway. You know, I should probably try to think of side decks. Uh, I don't think this this deck is meta applicable, so I, I don't really care that much about a side deck. Um, just and just remember, I'll always see a feature fusion band here. He's a uh, he's actually at one right now in the TCG. So yeah, just just remember that. Uh, I don't know why Yugi Pro has not updated yet. It's it's so weird. It's like. We're in 2017, all right? We have a March 30, like we got past the balance already, and yet the balance isn't updated yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I guess that's uh, that's it for now. So this was the show here. Peace.